Want to see something cool? I've got a little bit of fun that changes resistance when you put it under stress, like France. When you put force on a piece of metal, it experiences what we call elastic deformation. Most of the time you won't even notice it, but it happens. Let that marinate for a moment. It's going to totally change how you see the entire world. Everything is a fucking spring until it breaks. If you modulate your modulus past elasticity, well, then you get into plastic deformation. It's easy to tell when that happens because that's when you join the fraternity of expensive sounds. If it goes back to where you started, that's elastic. If it's different at the end, that's plastic. The greatest tool for teaching this is a half-inch conduit bender. If you spend a summer stomping sticks, you're going to develop a profound understanding of plastic and elastic deformation. Now, knowing that, what if we do some calibrated carving on a billet biscuit so that we know the position precisely in proportion to the poundage? All we need to do is glue a strain gauge on the side, and now we've got a scale. This is one of those things that's easy to explain, but a monumental bitch to actually manufacture. But if you do it right, you end up with this fucking thing. As the frame deforms, the resistance changes. We do a little electrical mojo, and now we can display that difference as pounds. We call this a load cell and it's how your bathroom scale works. They make these for everything from grams to tons, and they all work on the same principle, that everything is a fucking spring. And that's pretty cool.